Good morning, yes. And I am joined by, he doesn't realize it, but he's a legend, like you are, because every time I go to one of these surfing events and you're talking about adaptive surfing, your name comes up. Do you know that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So tell everybody, first of all, a little bit about your story. I lost my leg to a tiger shark uh, surfing at home in Hawaii when I was 18. And I became an amputee right then and there on the beach. Um, living on a little island, like I, I talked a little earlier, it's you. There's no, there's nothing to really turn to. You don't see any other people walking around with prosthetics. You don't even know if you can surf with a prosthetic. I, I thought I would maybe be the only person in the world that would try surfing, and there was no resources out there. So it's pretty cool to come down to a beach like this morning and see people walking around with their prosthetics, wanting to go surfing. Um, I think it's just absolutely incredible. This is the fourth year I've been here, and. Literally the day after this event ends, I'm looking forward to next year. It's that much fun. Yeah, so you're going to get in the water with some kids. So there's 10 new kids that come out to this clinic every year who have never been on a surfboard yeah. before, don't know anything about it, and you're going to teach them how to surf. Yeah, and the fun thing about surfing is there's really no right or wrong way to do it. I think as long as you're smiling, you're doing it right. Uh, there's a saying, the, the best surfer in the world is the one having most fun, and I kind of have a feeling today here at this beach, we might have the best surfers in the world. <laughs> yes, the ones having the absolute most fun, and that's what this is all about. And even, I know you guys are getting in the water here at 9 a.m., but this is a whole day today, tomorrow, and then, of course, the Bro-Am that's yep, going yep. on. So big surf competition yep. that will be going on as well. Yeah, the Bro-Am, too, is really fun. Um, we surf Switchfoot. Uh, named after the band Switchfoot, who's a part of it. And um, a lot of these kids will be down here, and there's actually an ev uh, uh, event for the kids. Um, and it's pretty cool to see because the concert brings thousands of people to the beach, and there's literally thousands of people watching these adaptive kids surf, cheering them on, and the vibe is palpable. It's absolutely, you, you'll get chicken skin. You'll, uh, it's really cool, yeah. yeah. And are, are you gonna compete? Are you gonna try to beat everybody yeah, that yeah. day? I, I, I'm gonna try and compete. Uh, last year, we actually did really well. Um, yeah. So this year, we're hoping to win. That would be really awesome. Okay, so tell me, what is your favorite part about these few days, jumping in the water with the kids? What do, what do you love about it? What is it that keeps you with that feeling of wanting I, to come back? I think it's probably just the personal connection with the kids and their parents. Um, and sometimes I, you look at the beach and the parents are in tears. It's something they, they think, my kid can't surf, my kid can't do this. And to see them stand up and arms in the air, biggest smile you've ever seen um it's really i mean there's i feel like there's no other place on earth i should be than right here right now doing this it's it's a really good feeling oh this is so amazing we're so honored to be here and hanging out with you thanks mike it was so good to talk to you so yeah this is going on today tomorrow and then of course they'll have the competition going on on saturday but uh just a lot of fun out here this morning you guys back over to you so many inspirational stories when you go to the challenge oh athletes. and can i say absolutely yeah if you if you have not checked out Mike's Instagram, uh -huh. he shoots some of the most amazing shark photography I have wow. ever seen. Tell, shout out your Instagram. Thank you. It's uh, it's my name, Mike Coots, and my K E C O O T S is my Instagram handle. And yeah, I, I I was attacked by a shark, and I think my favorite subject to shoot is sharks. They're they're very cool to photograph. Wow. So. You've got to check out his Instagram. It's crazy. That's amazing. Just was that? Was that? Is, is it? Is it therapeutic for him? Is he? Had, did he become more appreciative of the show? I mean, I'm, no, I'm just seriously. Yeah. I'm just wondering. I mean, he, he could have this forever vendetta and hate for sharks, but he obviously has a oh no no a love and appreciation for love. them. Yes. Yeah, so they said, is it therapeutic for you going and shoot? I mean, you have yeah. such a love of um, them. Yeah, it's. <sighs> I don't know if it's therapeutic, it's just really fascinating. Um, I think because I'd spend so much time above the surface surfing, when you go underneath the surface and see the dynamic of how the ocean works, um, you feel like you kind of get the complete circle of the ocean. And, and from a photography perspective, it's as exciting as it can be. I mean, you've got great whites, big jaws, you've got tiger sharks and their beautiful stripes. There's, I mean, it's kind of hard to honestly to shoot people after shooting sharks because it's, it's a rush. It's beautiful. Um, you're in some really cool locations and the stuff you get is just mind blowing. See, there you go. Just saying, Lauren. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's uh, incredible. I'm yeah. headed that way in the commercial break. I will check out his Instagram yeah, page. Absolutely. <laughs> I had to, I yeah. had to throw that out there. <laughs>